This presentation is part of a Full Sail University course, EDM 651 Corporate Training and Motivational Development. This is a Second Life presentation for class of August 2008, and my name is Jeanne Mouyo. My topic today is World of Warcraft Introduction to Gameplay. The main reason that I've chosen to use World of Warcraft for this presentation project is to help my classmates learn how to play World of Warcraft so that in later classes they kind of have a, a little background and a frame of reference to get started with. The first question that I would ask is, what is World of Warcraft, otherwise known as WoW? Well, it's a MMORPG, really hard to say really fast. Uh, that is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game. Massively multiplayer online role-playing game. Say that fast three times. Well, much like we've experienced in Second Life, these kinds of games are virtual worlds, actual live online players interacting uh, in real time. Two of the main differences between something like World of Warcraft and Second Life is the fantasy-based role-playing component as well as the very goal-oriented quest-based component. We'll be looking at both of these today. We'll be covering four topics. Getting started, creating a character, basic navigation, and basic questing. That's getting started, creating a character, basic navigation, and basic questing. Getting started and creating a character are a continuation from an earlier video-based lesson, Part 1, World of Warcraft Introduction to Gameplay. Let's look at getting started first thing we want to find is the World of Warcraft 10-day free trial. And the way to get that is to go to Google. Google is perfect for everything, one of my favorite places. We're going to Google World of Warcraft. You'll see that there are a few links that show up. We really want the one that says Blizzard. That's the official World of Warcraft site. There you'll find game guide, introduction, getting started, everything you need to know to learn the game. Whenever you have questions as you start to play, always come back to this site. Everything you need is here. You'll also find in the far right corner of your screen the World of Warcraft 10-day free trial download. You can download and then install the software and create a character and play for 10 days for free. You'll have to create an account name and password and to play the game you'll have to log in and one of the first decisions you'll have to make is you'll have to choose a realm or a server. One of the main things that you need to be aware of in choosing a server is that if you want to be able to play with your friends, you all need to be on the same server. There are four types of realms or servers. Player versus environment is where players prefer to interact with the environment, stressing questing in terms of their gameplay. Player versus player realms in contrast to player versus environment realms are where players actually like to duel and enter into arenas or battlegrounds in which they play against other players live. Role playing realms are where people really stress the idea of we're elves, we're dwarves, and so they're really into the, the story or the fantasy based component of the game. Or normal realms in which all of the above play styles are in play. So that's player versus environment, player versus player, role playing or normal. Now to confuse the issue even more, you can do all kinds of play styles on all of those servers. So you can play player versus environment, you can play player versus player, uh, you can play the role playing component on any type of server. One of the main things that I want you to know about servers is that I highly recommend new players choose a normal server and avoid a player versus player server. On the player versus player servers, people play a little bit more aggressively and there's a lot more individual combat. And you can actually have your gear stolen. And so while you're new and don't really know how to play yet, I recommend that you avoid the player versus player realms. Next, let's look at creating a character. Oh, he's pretty. He's an orc. In the bottom right of your screen, you'll find a create a new character button. So you'll tap on that. And then you'll have your second big decision. Your second big decision after choosing a realm or server is to play Alliance or Horde. These are our two primary factions. Now again you'll have to make sure that you choose the faction that your friends do so you guys can play together. A lot of World of Warcraft players define themselves by Alliance or Horde. Alliance or Horde is usually the first question people ask once you know that you play WoW. Now, neither of these is better than the other. Each has their own sort of uh, moral code and uh, goal and agenda. You can choose whichever suits you that you want to play with with your friends. The next thing that you'll have to choose is race, gender, and fighting style. 
A lion's and horn each have five different races, and you can choose whichever race suits you. Different races within each faction can play together, but they do start in different places. So if you want to start playing with your friends, you need to choose the same race. You can choose a male or female character, and then your next big decision really is fighting style. Fighting style really defines how you will fight and play and interact in the game. I recommend experimenting a little bit to see which one suits you best. Next you'll be able to customize how your character looks and name your character. Here I've created a night elf female hunter and I've named her Rui. Once you've created the character you can select your character and then enter the world. You'll get a loading screen. You'll get a little cinematic introduction that tells you about your character's background and people. And then you're in game. Next let's look at basic navigation. The first thing I want to show you is uh, what's called an action bar, which is in the lower portion of your gameplay screen. On the bottom you'll find different tabs or buttons. We want to look first at the character information. The character information window shows you what you have equipped, your statistics, and your fighting ability, and what kind of damage you can do. The more you play, you'll get better gear that will fill these slots, which will help your character's statistics as they fight. Your character window has two additional tabs, the Reputation tab and the Skills tab. The more you play your character, the higher level you will become, the more skills you will build. Additionally, down in the bottom of your action bar, you have an Options tab. The Options tab has video and sound and voice customization options, as well as the Interface tab, which will allow you to adjust your camera and adjust how the game communicates with you. If you go back to the Options tab, you'll find Key Bindings, which is essentially the shortcut to all of the hotkeys in the game. You'll get a list of what the current hotkeys are, but you can also customize these. So here you see W, S, A, D, up, down, left, and right arrows will be your basic movement keys. This is how you walk around in the world. Just use your arrow keys or W, S, A, and D. Now that you know how to walk around, let's start exploring the world a little bit. Here I'm displaying the map that shows two of the primary continents. I'm that little tiny white triangle up in the upper left of your screen. I'm on a tiny little island just off to the left of the main continent, Kalimdor. There are roads throughout the game, and roads always come with road signs to tell you where you're headed and which direction to go. In the upper right of your screen, you'll find the mini-map. Again, you'll see I'm the little white triangle, and there's a gold exclamation mark above me. The gold exclamation mark shows me that there's a person there who has a quest for me. Just above the little magnifying glass, there's another little button I can push, which will take me from the mini-map to the full-screen map. Now I can see the island or continent that I'm on. Notice that I'm in the green area in the middle. This is an area that I've already discovered. The beige area are areas in my map that I have not yet opened up because I haven't been there. And so as I explore the world, I will reveal more places on my maps. If I zoom out, I can see the continent that I'm on. If I zoom out again, we see both continents. And if I zoom out again, I see the entire world. We are currently playing in the world of Azeroth. Outland is an additional world that we can play once we reach level 70. Next, let's look at basic questing. You'll find those people who have big gold exclamation marks above their head will give you a quest. I wish everybody in the real world had a big exclamation mark above their head that I needed to talk to because then it would be really easy to find them. You right click to talk to them and then they'll offer you a quest which you can accept. After you've accepted the quest you can go back to the bottom screen and access your action bar, look for the quest log, and now you'll see that you have a list of quests loading up in your quest log. Once you've completed the quest, it'll tell you that you've completed the quest. And then you can go back to the person that gave you the quest, and now they have a silver question mark above their head. And you'll talk to them again by right-clicking. Quest givers will usually offer you a reward or payment for your services. You can choose the reward. Here I've chosen the archery training gloves. And then that item has been added to your backpack, which you can access from the bottom action bar. Seeing a common theme here? Then I can take that new item and drag it to my character's window to equip it. You can see how we've kind of come full circle. We start in World of Warcraft by creating a character, and everything revolves around that character. You quest with that character, you build that character's skills and equipment, and you level that character. We start at level 1, we go all the way up to level 70. Now here's how we exit WoW. We go back to that Options tab in the bottom, and we choose Exit Game to leave the software.
I want to thank you very much for this presentation. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something about World of Warcraft, and I hope it makes you want to learn more. Hope to see you in game.